Hey, wow. Well, let's be talking. We've been involved in a lot of games. Um, I was very impressed with uh, the uh, uh, the way they went and did their job and uh, showed them as well. It's no um, uh, surprising to me that they're up there on the top of the team. Um, the goals were lost, I thought, avoidable, certainly. But there was no doubt that Elgin deserved to be in the front at half time. So I got hold of him at half time and I thought we started the game really well. We sat half for eight, nine, ten minutes and we really should be the same in the game. And then we scored for a breakaway. And then we really moved up in the top gear, if you like, in the other end stage. Um, felt that there was more in the tank than there was. And, and you know, you would think that. Um, if I was in gym shoes, you'd feel more a bit unlucky. And if I was in my shoes, I wouldn't say lucky, but it's hard to score the goals, you know. I think uh, uh, the goals are easily in the road, and it's just hard work and good for her. Huh? But very, very, two teams that are definitely going to be involved at uh, the end of the season. Jim, do you think about the last minute penalty? Something that I suppose any manager that loses a penalty last minute is going to feel like he's going to be the boys are painted them in the box. You can't do a flip like that unless you get a hit. You know, you need to be a gold medal in the Olympics to do that. Uh, I would be the same. Mm. I would be the same after the Jesh Suka Suka. It's a shocker. The boy has jumped into Suka. Uh, I wouldn't have said that there was a booking for Suka. I don't know, under here. And that in inevitably gets him sent off for a, a, a wee fill later on in the game. But you would have to say Jim would be, uh, I would have thought the referee would have been, uh, as we've analysed the game, I thought uh, they got to be aware of breaks and us, you know. It's quite interesting that they are taking an awful long time on every set piece. And then as soon as we go in the front, the referee started blowing the whistle and the arms that are out. Which, like that, these petty wee things that go on in football. We've always got players here that are capable of winning games. And, uh, we go into Christmas now. Second in the league. You can see Forfer scored in the last minute as well to, to go there. Um, but um, I don't see. Um, well, well, we've recovered really well. And, um, it's about what we go and do now. I've been in this position before. Um, you can see, you know, I'll tell you that um, players that you've got are experienced enough to, to know that they're capable of. Season. I was particularly delighted that Brian Prince uh, because it's not scored he's, probably, uh, he's yeah. probably as good a pro as I've ever met. Uh, he batters them in at training. And, uh, a lot of managers, Jim Scott called off today, he was a big player for us. Uh, and, I, and I've had no hesitation in putting Brian Prince in. And, uh, and he, he helped us, you know, he's made the goal and also he scored the goal. Uh, so I'm happy for him. Well, um, that help his confidence? Because I mean, well, I, I know he said so, so many near misses. Oh, he's so, he's so integral to the dressing room we've got here. I've come to live in here and take the dressing room we've got. Whatever we get, we'll stay on the top. We're going to uh, the county of Cana Christmas time, second in the league. The goal at the start of the season was to be exactly where we are. So, um, touch wood, things are sort of working out alright in the young wee bit, concerned about the sending off. I five with this year. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Jared would get sent off in the warm-up. Um, but uh, great goals, great to see. Uh, I won a victory at home with the fans, so yeah, they're getting an early Christmas present. Right. Cheers, thanks.